Gautam Suresh, Pranav Lal, Vaidyanathan. I still remember when Sridhar Sundaram took me to meet Feroz in Bangalore for my book, You Can. What Feroz told me then is something I'll never forget. He said, a lifetime is not enough to complete a journey in inclusion. But, he said, I will make a dent in this universe. And Feroz, I want to tell you that you and your young team of volunteers most certainly had. Give him a bigger clap. I began my journey in this field by first working with non-disabled rural and tribal youth in senior government positions, then consulting with the World Bank and the UN across South Asia. So when we worked and when we decided to get into the field of disability to focus on youth with disability, our value systems were really clear. We believed in the potential of the poor and the vulnerable. And that's really important to us because what it does is you don't think that you have the potential. You think the potential is out there, so your job is just to facilitate that potential which is latent to become manifest. It means that you'll have no ego. The word I can't does not exist in our dictionary. Whatever can't be done is I can. And we also believe in transparency, both use of IT for it and in all the partnerships which we do. But most importantly, over a decade of working in this sector has convinced me through both third party studies, national and international, done on my previous work and presently, that giving a job to one member of the family takes the entire family out of poverty in a sustained manner. And that's something which we always keep in front of us. This is Kameshwari, one of our alumni. She was born speech and hearing impaired. Her father was a painter and he died when he was painting the walls of a house, a high rise building actually. Her stepmother brought her up unwanted. She did her 10th grade with great difficulty. And in India, what happens is if you're sitting at the house doing nothing, you get married off. So there she was married to another speech and hearing impaired boy called Lokesh. Both of them sat in the house at their village, depressed, depending on neighbors for their food. They heard about our training center, enrolled in. Today, she works at Google and gets over a lakh a month. Her husband, Lokesh, works at Max, a retail firm. Together, they own an income which is nearer our income, which means a better quality of life. But more importantly, what I want to tell you is in the picture, you see her sponsor who heads IKEA. So she came to Hyderabad and said, Meera, listen, I want to meet this girl I sponsored. Now, I really was nervous taking Kameshwari from a village to a five-star hotel, but I did not have to worry. When I took her to Marriott, she began talking, asking in sign language, are you married? Do you have a husband? Does he look after you well? Do you have babies? Why not? Is there sign language in Amsterdam? And then I realized that a job does not mean economic empowerment alone. What it gives is it gives self-confidence, builds your esteem, and that is the importance of a job. So our mantra when we began this work, we are only four years young, we began this work saying that, listen, don't hire out of sympathy, but because it makes business sense. Today, we are in 11 states. We have 22 training centers dedicated to youth with disabilities. When we open New Year next year, we would have trained 10,000 youth with disabilities in these centers. <laughs> we began with a placement rate of 70%, but now as we move into Bimaru states, 
in Ranchi, we have a training center. We have one in Nagpur. Our placement rate varies between 65 to 70 now. 40% of those who we train are girls, and we keep working really hard of it because I think this is really important. Our advocacy, both at the company end and at the NGO end, is very large. We do a lot of reports, and I would urge companies here to look at our latest BCG report, which we did along with BCG for the government, which is the road to inclusion. It really sets you on that journey. Of course, we won several awards, national and international, but that for us is an indication that we are taking baby steps in the right direction. Lots of challenges, as all of you know, so I'm going to skip this slide. So this is the heart of our work. Our heart of the work is training and making sure we do the last mile connect to put the youth into the jobs and mentor them. We also do a lot of advocacy with the NGOs, with the government projects, because you have to motivate the parents and the opinion makers in the villages to send the youth into our training centers. We do studies and research, and we now are a one-stop shop for companies with a whole range of services who want to begin their inclusion journey. Our trainings are basically fun-filled, interactive, we teach them English through songs like, inspirational songs actually, sometimes from the Beatles. When they sing with their Telugu accent, it doesn't sound like English. But you know, these are inspirational songs and a fun way to learn. We teach them computers. We also teach them various sectorial trainings depending on the kind of the educational qualification they have and their aspirations. So the youth who come into our training centers are youth with locomotive disability, speech and hearing impaired, low vision, and now I'm just setting up the Global Learning Center for youth with visual impairment. So several companies which we work with, uh, some of them are here today, I haven't met some, but I met Pavitra, I met Pankajam, so a lot of friends and companies, an ever-expanding group. We've begun this large company outreach program which is called You Can. In fact, from here, I'm going on to Nagpur to address the Vidarbha Industrial Association because our training center is there. So this, in fact, is really, is, it's, it's the response we're getting from companies is overwhelming. We have chambers of commerce wanting to sign MOUs with us. And this is really important because, as all of you know, the jobs are not readily available for youth with disability. We have to show companies where the jobs are by doing the various kinds of services. This is my book, You Can, with Prasad Kaipa. I don't know whether he's come here yet, but he's expected here. A book, a small attempt of mine to invert the world, to make the non-disabled get inspired by successful stories of entrepreneurs with disability, and CEOs like Feroz, he's included in the book, Lemon Tree, KFC, the global president, Niren, all extremely inspiring stories which make me you know, feel more and more inspired and do more in this field. Uh, I'm just going to tell you about quickly two companies which uh, to show you a glimpse of what we do. This is Google Hyderabad, the largest campus besides Mountain View in the US. So we started by speaking on that diversity week. And then they said, hey, listen, uh, one of the things I always say is, you know, sign language is another language. You don't take it seriously. It's like Italian, Spanish. So why don't you learn it? So immediately, all those people said, come on, do a sign language workshop. So we did one there. And that began our journey of hiring. Today, we have, I think, about 65 people working over there. Um, very inspiring. Even the, our, our kids have taught everyone sign language. The security guards now know sign language. The girls who are speech and hearing impaired have enrolled in the dancing schools over there, and they dance so well to a rhythm which they cannot hear, you know, inspiring the others on the campus. And this, for us, has been an extremely lovely experience. This is a French multinational which we worked with. So the CEO called me one day and he said, you know, Mira, uh, 
can you start us on this journey of inclusion? I think it will be extremely good karma. <laughs> so I didn't say anything. I said, okay, why not? So we did this whole series of works which we do in companies, which is sensitization workshop, mapping the jobs, putting the youth in, doing simple workplace adaptations. And lo, what do you think what happened? When they kept looking, our youth won the productivity every month. Attrition was lowered, productivity was bettered. And not just this, I want to tell you, the company inclu set up their first inclusion award, which was instituted in Paris because they headquartered there. Paris had begun the work, and we had begun the work in Chennai. And the Chennai work won the first inclusion <laughs> award. So while we help companies a lot, and companies keep coming back to us, for example, the last, last company, now we are working across their plants in the country. Um, what is most important is what is the impact of the work on the youth, and that's what keeps us driving. The siblings get educated when they get married. Both of them have a better, they educate their children, they give nutrition to their children, and this essentially means a better India and a better world. Thank you.